The Campbell River man is getting ready to take on the world, representing Canada at the Special Olympics. He is heading to Seoul, Korea with his snowshoes strapped on. As CTV's Gord Kerbis shows us tonight, he's the only member of the team uh, from Team Canada from Vancouver Island, and he promises to make his hometown proud. Go! He is gone in a flash. 36-year-old Hazen Mead is tearing up the snow, training to face the world's best later this month in Seoul, Korea. He's been training for a year and a half. Um, we have a four-year cycle with Special Olympics, so we do uh, regional qualifiers, which Camel River usually hosts on the mountain, and then we do our provincial games. Then last winter, in January, he went to Alberta and competed in the National Special Olympics Winter Games. Mead has been snowshoeing for 15 years and will be competing in three events at the Special Olympics, the 800 meter, 1600 meter, and the 4x400. He's excited about the competition, but this is far from his first big event. I've been to multiple provincials, winter and summer, three winter nationals, and this will be my very first Worlds I'm going to. He's also accomplished in a variety of other sports, including softball, track and field, swimming and floor hockey. Hazen's a bit nervous about the upcoming games, but says he'll put his best foot forward. I haven't been to a Worlds before. It, it won't be easy, but, I'll, but I know I can do it. And it's not just the competition he's excited about. Mead is also looking forward to becoming a world traveler. Being to a country outside North America. i never been outside North America before. It's a new experience for me. Canada will be the third largest team heading into the Games following South Korea and the United States. Mead is the only member from Vancouver Island. His coach is hoping he'll come back a medal winner. Hopefully with hardware, but we, we focus on personal best, not the actual hardware. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hoping really hard for, for something around his neck when he got off the plane. That triumphant return is expected to take place at the Campbell River Airport shortly after 5 o'clock on Wednesday, February 6th. Gord Kerbis, CTV News on Mount Washington.